Right, hi everyone. So today, just going to be doing a video. Um, what was it going to be on? Um, first of all, in the background, it's going to do some ISS stuff today. So this is literally the ISS live as of right now. So I got to say, getting weird things like that. Really bright Catherine wheel, all the rainbow colours. That's not, it's not dust or anything that's getting it's been getting worse and worse. Um so I should be flicking through. Flip through that first actually. So actually I'll leave this on in the background and I'll talk because I'm sure before long as you can see underneath the sun you've got those really messed up colours now that are coming through and I'm sure in a minute they'll they'll switch the camera anyway. Uh, you see the different bits and pieces on there. So yeah, first of all, I was uh, going to talk about um, uh, just just a realization of um, effectively like sort of bugging out or sort of having to sort of leave your home and you know not take all your all your belongings with you and uh, just the weather and the external environment and uh, on the weekend just went to a, a festival only up the road and uh, uh, took things just like uh, sort of boots and sort of a a big fishing umbrella. And things like that. Wow, look at those little dots. And I right, give it another minute or so, and then the, you get the big red light effect underneath, and they'll stop it. So, yeah, it took generally what you'd need just for a, a day trip, but probably not quite enough when it came to sort of the rain and stuff. Um, but just that realization of if you've got so many people out and about in one place, uh, just just how quickly anything like a field. Uh, just the woods could become muddy, uh, just completely overrun and trodden, and become a really, really not nice place to. Sorry, where was I? Um, so yeah, just a realization of how quickly the environment around you could be completely torn up if you've got a lot of people misplaced, um, which is likely to be the key. Uh, one thing I have been thinking, and that is definitely <sighs> right. Uh, okay, this looks a bit odd. Around the Earth, has been like I've I've been seeing rainbows in the clouds and stuff, and look at those lovely rainbow effects coming off at different angles. It's probably if they hit the clouds, refract this, that, or the other. It's probably what is being seen. So that to me tells me that is literally coming from the sun direction. And that is not something I've seen before. That is just completely above and beyond. Sort of ridiculous. You know, look. Sort of these things are manifesting in the in the light once they're sort of appearing through. And that's very scary. Also, look how bright these are getting. I reckon these are in space. I reckon these are big fuck off reflectors. Sorry for the swearing. Possibly something like that, and I'll go through some of these things. Notice that shape there in a minute, and I'll show it on some other bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, it's just that realization that it is it is going to be horrible, um, sort of out there. And I'm really not looking forward to anything like that. Uh, cause I'm going to have to leave where I am. Um, and even where I go might not be safe, but it's about risk. I think anyone listening to this, if you're in the UK, probably the only uh, real safe locations you've got within the actual UK is going to be either the um, probably Peak District, head up towards Scotland, uh, sort of be heading over sort of Shropshire, which is quite far inland. So uh, I'm I'm thinking more along the lines of waves, uh, giant mega tsunamis, which I think a mile high wave at 6,000 foot. Yeah, Snowden, you know, the highest mountain's only 3,000 foot. It's not even a mountain, it's just a big hill. Um, depending on location, miles inland might might be okay. This is more of a rant today, I think, actually. But yeah, it's just been certain realizations, uh, like the other day, um, sort of going to work and. I think I said in the other video, you know, just an old man just lying there and 
uh, a couple of people there with him just waiting for the ambulance to come and uh, just that realization that y you ain't going to have ambulances you ain't going to have people coming around helping you giving you food this that the other um i quickly imagine things are going to fall apart in a in a really bad way um right so this is still running look at that under there if you were to think blue and red kachina it's literally like a winged planet with a oh here comes the redness right i give it 30 seconds now and you'll see the feed chops because i love doing that I mean, look at that for the f there you go <laughs> i'm sorry for the laughing it is comical it is just absolutely comical and as you can see the camera is still moving in a forward direction so either they've ri literally recut back to a different cam uh, a different time piece to run through it again or they've got two forward facing cameras at different angles i, I don't know enough about that but that is just Come on, stop taking the piss, NASA. That you can't get worse than that, right? So, there's generally my rant for the day. Um, uh, also, just realization: no matter what stuff you've got, you're not going to be sort of a hundred percent prepared, and that that is really, really worrying and upsetting as well. So, um, second on this.